Our main story right now, last night was the Los Angeles premiere of Fast and Furious 6, and we were on the red carpet to capture all the action. We spoke with Michelle Rodriguez about coming back from the dead and Elsa Pataki about her co-stars. Plus, Wiz Khalifa confessed even he thinks Paul Walker's eyes are dreaming. The Fast and the Furious franchise has been going strong for 12 years and has made well over $1 billion. The fans are clearly dedicated, and last night, producer and star Vin Diesel showed his appreciation and even gave clues about Fast and Furious 7. The fans are so involved, they even started a grassroots campaign to bring Michelle Rodriguez's character, Letty, back from the dead. I asked Michelle last night how it felt to know the fans cared that much. After you bust your ass so many years and you rewrite so many roles because guys just don't get a kick-ass chick, not many people like to do the tomboy thing. And there's lots of people out there who, you know, admire and respect that world. Another one of the strong women in this film is Elsa Pataki, and she looked stunning last night. Elsa worked very closely with Vin Diesel in the film. She gave us a little insight into what that was like. He's a tough guy, but at the end, he's like a little bear, you know? You just, just want to hug. He's been great with me and with everybody, and he takes so much care of the, of the franchise being part. He's producer, so he wants us to be have a good relation between us and being happy with what we do. Now, in the movie, Luke Evans' character is one of the meanest around. That said, he's incredibly good-looking and charming when he's not running cars over with a tank. Even though he is the bad guy, he told us his co-stars took him under their wings. They were great. They were lovely people. They're really, really nice. They, um, they embraced me very quickly, and uh, I became part of the team, even though I wasn't part of the team on screen, you know. We had a lot of fun, and I've just we've just done a world tour. We've literally circumnavigated the globe together, and... We uh, had the best time. Would you call them friends now? Yes, I would. Yeah, yeah, I really would. As the evening went on, Tyrese was there to pump up the crowd. He introduced performances by Ludacris, 2 Chains, and Wiz Khalifa, who sing on the movie's soundtrack. The crowd went wild, and Universal Studios became an instant dance party. Now, someone who was notably missing from last night's big U.S. premiere was Paul Walker. Since he is such a big part of the film, we thought we'd ask the celebrities a special question about one of our favorite blue-eyed stars. Describe Paul Walker's eyes. Ah, uh, like an ocean. Why? They're like, a, <laughs> like an ocean. I mean, they're amazing. You get lost in his eyes, that's for sure. Watery, um, crystal, icy, yet warm. Not in front of my husband. I think they're very dreamy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're like pools of beautiful seawater. Beautiful crystal, crystal blue waters from North Shore. I've never really looked at Paul Walker's ass. No, his eyes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> this, this is pop sugar. I don't know. They're blue. They're incredibly blue. <laughs> In her defense, it was very, very loud there. If you're ready to get fast and furious, you can see the sixth installment in theaters this weekend.